Today I'm gonna to talk about my five favorite spring crankbaits. I'm gonna break it down by water depth and water temperature and color. Okay, so my first choice, water depths between nine and 12 feet, I'm taking the Norman Deep Middle End. I'm gonna start out when the water temperature's in the upper 30s, low 40s, I'm starting out with my reds. I'm gonna gradually gravitate towards my minnow colors as that water temperature starts to warm up into the upper 50s and low 60s. Now, my second choice is the Norman Middle End. This bait's gonna give me a seven to nine foot depth range. This lure here is fantastic on 45 degree rocky banks early in the spring. This bait here crawls through and over rocks like nothing else. Now, same principle. I'm gonna start with red as the water warms, I'm gonna to start to transfer into my minnow patterns. Now, one of my favorite crankbaits is the Norman Speed End. And the cool thing about the Speed End is we have the original Speed End and the Speed End Junior. Anytime I'm fishing four to six feet, no matter what the cover is, grass, wood, rock, I'm fishing the Speed End and the Speed End Junior. Again, it's very important to know, as your water temperatures start to increase, you start to gravitate towards shad patterns. So you might start out with a chili bowl, the hot red, then go to diamond craw, which is a brown and orange type bait, and then transfer into your minnow patterns. It's pretty much that simple. I keep spring crankbait fishing as simple as I possibly can. It doesn't have to be complicated. And not to be overlooked, in the springtime, you have to have your rattle baits. I like the Cotton Cordell Super Spot and the Booyah Hard Knocker. Now, here's the cool thing about these two. I can fish the Booyah Hard Knocker faster and keep it a little deeper in the water column. And I can fish the exact same size bait in the Cordell Super Spot and I can slow it way down and keep it in the same spot in the water column. The reason being is this has a super tight, super, super tight vibration. This one displaces a little bit more water so it wants to rise on you. So when the bass aren't chasing aggressively, I'll throw the super spot and I can just crawl it through the water column or if the grass is a little closer to the surface, I can use the super spot and keep it above the grass. Now you know my favorite spring crankbait picks. Get on LureNet, search around, and find some favorites of your own.